Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Octopath Traveler with me, Jalanon, and Lunar Nebula Gaming. We are here near the Gold Shore Coast to get Alfin's next story mission going. That's right, I have business here. Alfin! Your travels have brought you to Gold Shore, where a fever is running rampant. You roll up your sleeves and begin to get to work. All right, then. The story so far. And so Alfin left behind his sleepy village in hopes of bringing succor to the suffering. He asked for no coin for his services to honor the man who once saved his life. Okay, who's gonna finance his travels? Hmm. With the words of his friend Zeph in his heart, he wandered from town to town until his travels brought him to Goldshore in this idyllic town by the sea. Surely there was someone in need of his aid. Sounds like a lot of someone's, very shortly. <laughs> Nothing quite like a town by the sea. Even if the air is a bit briny for my liking. Go for a swim? Huh, don't mind if I do. Did you hear? Old Zeke's been stricken too. That's ten in just a week. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Hmm. Oh. The fever's spreading fast. Whatever are we to do? Now that you mention it. I hear there's a traveling apothecary in town. Well, oh, that was fast. Oh? Aye. They say she whipped up a tonic that cured one boy's fever overnight. I see. She? So I've got a colleague in town. Wonder if she'd be interested in talking shop. Ow! Oof. Faceplant. Ah, it hurts. Howdy. Are you okay, little girl? Here, you dropped something. A seashell, is it? Huh? Th thanks. Shucks. Looks like you scraped up your knee. Mind if I have a look? Ouch. I bet that smarts. I know the feeling. I'm always tripping over my own two feet. But every time you pick yourself back up, you'll find yourself that much tougher for it. All right. That'll do her. One of my best healing balms there. Thanks. Stranger, I'm Alan. Hi. I'm Alfin. That almost rhymes, eh? Neat. Are you a medicine man? <laughs> you might say that. I'm what they call an apothecary. Wow. I've never met one of you before. Nice to meet you, Mr. Apothecary. Now listen here. Alfin will do. Hey there. Hey, Alfin, can I ask you a favor? Oh? Go for it. Hmm. It's my sister, Flynn. She got a fever and she's been in bed all week. She's always crying, and no matter how much she sleeps, it just gets worse and worse. Oh. Say no more. I'll fix her up right as rain. After all, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> oh, thank you. Our house is right there. Oh, literally right there. Thank you. Very useful. Oh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, Ellen. Make for Ellen's wow. abode. Is there any hope for her, my lady? Hmm. It's just the fever that's going around. My remedy will have her on her feet in no time. It's an interesting hairstyle. Hmm. Or just a bunch you? of ribbons in there. Hmm. And down it goes. Well, Flynn, did it help? Yes. Well, I feel better already. Oh my. Just feel her forehead. The fever's all but gone. Hmm. Oh, how can we ever repay you? Ever since their father died, I've raised my two girls on my own. I fear I have little in the way of coin. My sympathies. You have my sympathies. Worry not. Your kind words are payment enough. Thank you. T Truly? You are too kind, Millie. <laughs> Just doing my job, and with that, I should be on my way. 
Hopefully she's not a scam artist. Oh, and of course. Should the symptoms return, please don't hesitate to call me. I hope she's not poisoning people and pretending to be a good healer. Howdy. Here I am. Where's my patient? I heard a poor girl was suffering from a terrible fever. Alvin! She's right there, Alvin. Oh? Aha, uh -huh. just sit tight. I'll have you feeling better in no time. Hmm? She looks just fine to me. Hey! Ellen, what are you thinking bringing this scruffy-looking stranger into our home? Hmm? Pardon, madam, but I'm an apothecary. I only meant to... Really? Oh, are you now? My daughter's already been treated by a professional, so I'm afraid we won't be needing your services. Good day, sir. I mean, that seems fair at this point in time. <laughs> All right, then. Hmm. Tough crowd. She made it sound like I'm some kind of quack salver. I'm sorry. Alvin, I didn't know there was another pocket theory in town. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your sister's feeling better and that's what matters, right? Thanks. Yeah, thanks anyway, Alvin. See ya. Take care, Ellen, and try not to catch the cold. Mm-hmm. You too. Don't like them. Maybe he can be a lumberjack? That must have been the apothecary that everyone was buzzing about. The girl's forehead wasn't even warm. Whoever this rival of mine is, she sure knows her stuff. What I wouldn't give to be able to pick her brain. Well, hopefully she's just really good at her job. I have my suspicions. Travel banter. Ho ho! Your skill in brewing salves is most admirable. Well, you've got your swordplay to boast of. Me, I've got my medicine. Just so, my friend. Neither curing nor fighting is a contest as such, but we all hope to triumph in our own field. I feel like fighting is a contest, Ulrich, to say. And indeed, meeting fellows in the same trade can inspire a man, make him strive a little harder. At least, so it is among men of the sword. I guess you've had your run-ins with rivals who you hated losing to. That would be all of them. <laughs> but unlike swordsmen, the world can never have too many gifted healers. My thinking exactly. That's why I need to keep getting better, so I can help as many folks as I can. A noble ambition. That was good. <laughs> Get a little more of Ulbrich's kind of personality as well. The girlfriend of an inexperienced fisherman. Though they care deeply for one another, she has grown somewhat tired of his habit of bringing home everything the sea deigns to deliver to him. Including driftwood, I'm guessing. Okay, fish tooth. You know what, we'll, we'll try it. Hey, we got a one dollar discount. Odds and ends. Starlight hat. I want it. But it's expensive. Glad you came along. I was struggling to deal with my bow's haul. Okay, well we might be back for that hat. I do have more money now, but I'm just thinking there will probably be something crazy that I want more. Maybe. We'll see. An impish girl who lives in Goldshore with her mother Marlene and her twin sister Flynn. She takes after her father in both appearance and demeanor, a fact she is rather proud of, and strives to cheer up her mother with her sister's help. Okay, can we purchase anything? Sleepweed? You know what? Sure. Adelwort? How befuddling. And we are good, I think. Thanks. We can really use this money. I hope it makes my mother happy. All right, then. Cool, cool. What about you? Inquire. A merchant who mainly operates in the coastlands. He worries about everything from his future to the weather, leaving him little time to concentrate on his stock and trade. That, uh, might not be good for you, sir. Healing grape, slums, pomegranates. So we haven't gotten the upgrade to the provisioner or the discount on the inn yet, so I'd, I'd like to. Get something. Oh my goodness. 41k. Dragon's vest. Dragon, 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 dragon's vestments. Do, 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 do. Anyway, an elderly man who lives with his wife. In their youth, they feared they would never be blessed with a child. And though one was eventually born to them, 
He died in an accident at sea. Despite their best efforts, they never had another, and have since taken to looking after the children of the town as their own. Aww. At least that kind of turned out well. Aww. I want to buy that dragon vest from you sometime. Someday soon. Okay, hit mine. Thunder Soul Stone. What about you? Some years back now, our ship went down in a bad spot of weather. Most of the crew washed up eventually, but no one ever saw the captain again. The rest of the crew gave up long ago, and everyone went their separate ways at the end. But I haven't stopped believing that the captain is still alive out there somewhere. A great man he was. You'd know him anywhere by his long beard. Should you ever see such a man in your travels, I'd be mighty pleased if you could bring him here to me. Tale of Left Behind. So we'd have to bring him through guidance or a lure. A sailor who once sailed on the blue wave. Proud of his seafaring days, he hopes to return to that great and glorious expanse again. Okay. What can I buy from you, though? Sleepweed? Sure. Edward? Sure. They knew Alvin was going to be here. Yeah. Catch yourself a good one? Oh, maybe. What about, what about challenging you? You have a strength of four? What would I really gain from that nowadays? Mm, maybe some more skill points? Hmm. Can I learn anything else here? No. I am sad. But well, that's okay. Alright. We will move on. What about you? <laughs> oh, I had a name for myself once. I was the mercenary who brought down a whole company all on his own. Uh, through embezzlement or something? A rowdy brute who resorts to violence when he fails to get what he wants. Owing to his experience as a mercenary, he is not a man to be trifled with. He's been seen fiddling with a small gold medal from time to time. Okay, this intriguing. A cleaver, you say? Ooh. 70 attack power. That seems pretty good. Critical 14. Some better armor. I do want the essence of plum. Treasure's all I got. Okay, well, let's double check our axes real fast. Because, yes. Okay, we do have more physical attack on this. And we can decrease target elemental attack. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that axe as much at the moment. Not compared to the hat. Okay, and I bet you're very strong. So challenge-wise, what are you, six? Yeah, that seems right. Okay, we move on. With our lives. In theory. Oh. Just ahead, up in the hills, is the mana district. Beyond that, you'll find the cathedral. Okay. An elderly lady who collects things that wash ashore. The current carries many curious items to the rocks beneath the bridge, and so she can often be found there. Less a hobby and more an obsession. She has scavenged for valuables every day for many, many years. Okay. Purchase. Forbidden bow! Oh, increases the chance of encountering enemies. When you can one-shot them, who cares? <laughs> oh, man. That seems very good. Oh, I need 70,000 for that. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. We'll think about it. Okay, scrutinize. A man who spends his days staring at the sea. Employed by aristocrats to manage a local inn, he grew dissatisfied with his lot after a few months and began to neglect his duties. Recently, however, he has started to loathe the layabout he has become. Okay. Well, we get a discount. That's nice. Hopefully we can make you happy by purchasing something from him. Nope! Because it's not what I'm wanting. Alright, so we can go in here. Ooh, treasure. Well, that's unexpected. But, very nice. Okay, then. Uh, I can go across this bridge. Eventually. But not right now. Okay. What about you? Oh, hello. Outside of town to the southwest is a cave near the shore. I hear it's awfully pretty there. Okay. We scrutinize. This probably means she's much higher level than us. Hmm. A trader born to a modest family that has called this town home for generations. She has despised the nobility ever since one of them treated her mother cruelly. Her fiancé serves a wealthy house, however, and so she tries her best to conceal her disgust. Seems reasonable. Okay, then. Hmm. Injurious seed, I'll take it. The dust is even better. Ruinous seed. 
I'd rather save my money. Considering how often poison has not worked for us. But I'll buy it just because I'll forget about it in the future otherwise, probably. So, yeah. Oh, nice. I can't go that way. Well, sign. Thank you for letting me know. All right, then. We continue. Do, 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 do. Where do I want to go? First to this blue shiny object. The Copperfield pouch. Hmm. It is important to note I could still sell stuff, but I'm still believing... I haven't looked this up or anything, but I still am wondering, I guess, if getting all the merchant stuff will, in fact, give us some bonus to selling things, so... I'm kind of waiting on that, even though it's probably stupid. Or I should just look it up, but, yeah. Gold Shore Manor District. Ah, the only place I can go. Of hmm? course. What's all the hubbub? Hmm. Oh, miss. How can we ever repay you? Thanks to your tincture, my dear husband is out of bed for the first time in weeks. My word, it worked like a miracle. And for such a modest fee, no less. You could charge tenfold and it would still be a steal. <laughs> oh, you are far too kind. I was only doing my job. Hmm. Seeing your hail and hearty smiles is payment enough for me. After all, we apothecaries have a sworn duty to ease suffering wherever we go, do we not? Pretty much. Fine words, those. You must be the apothecary everyone's been talking about. Indeed. Judging from that satchel of yours, I trust I am speaking to a colleague? You bet. Though, I've only started my journey. I'm Alfin. Yep. Vanessa. Vanessa Heisel. A pleasure. Huh. A sworn duty to ease suffering, eh? I like the sound of that. And I couldn't agree more. It's not about the coin we make. So long as I can keep myself fed, the joy of knowing I've eased someone's pain is all the payment I need. But of course, it is for that very purpose that I seek to ever hone my skills. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Hey, would it be too much for me to ask to take a look at your pharmaceutics? Hmm? Well, just hearing about it, it's clear you're out of my league. The ingredients, the preparation, anything you could teach me, I'm all ears. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. Yep. Yep. Ah, beg pardon. I understand. We do need to put food on the table after all. This is the constant tug of war. No need for apologies. You're quite the diligent one, aren't you? Oh, you bet. I'm still new to this after all. Every day I'm learning something new. At any rate, I'm glad to know this town is in good hands. See you around. <laughs> you flatter me, friend. Fare thee well. And get out of here. It's probably what she's thinking. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Hmm. I wonder if she's just giving people stimulants or something. Alrighty, where should I head now? Hmm. Maybe I'll take a stroll by the beach. And find somebody completely passed out, I'm sure. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. To the beach. Oh, wait. Travel painter. This is not this from Studio Episode yet. You are devoted to your studies, indeed. Most admirable. I've got lots to learn still, is why. Even if I spend every free moment with my nose in the books, it's never enough. Not if I want to be able to treat every injury or illness I come across. With your passion, I do not doubt you will one day achieve that. More than knowledge itself, it is drive and dedication that makes someone the best they can be. 
You already have the most important thing you need for learning. You think so? Can't say it ever felt that way to me. Keep up the work and you will become the apothecary you always wanted to be. I can't help but feel like you're being overly generous there, Professor. But if you have that much faith in me, maybe I should too. Alfin, you have the most heartwarming travel banter so far. Do -do. All right. Nobody's done anything with that boat, huh? I did see the glinting thing on the boat. Hmm. Okay. Well now. Looky here. Good afternoon. Hello again, Elfin. This is for you. Do you like it? What's this now? A seashell? Hey, thanks. It's a beaut. Thank you for helping me. Well now. <laughs> I didn't do much, but payment accepted. <laughs> I give the prettiest ones to Flynn. She likes them too. You don't say. You're really raking them in. I bet you could sell them at the markets for a small fortune. Mm -hmm. Not a bad plan. I know. That's why I give most of them to Mother. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. She'd cry sometimes. Because we don't have any money. I see. You don't say. <gasps> How about you, Alvin? Do you have money? <laughs> I think you got me beat with all those shells, but I get by. Mm. Are you sure? I can give you some if you need them. Now listen here. Money makes the world go round. This much is true. But you know what, Ellen? You, Flynn, and your mother have each other, and that's more valuable than all the money in the world. True. Hmm. It is? You bet. You can bet on it. <laughs> mother says Flynn still needs to rest. But when she's feeling better, we're going to come and back and collect seashells together. Well now. Don't you worry about that. That Vanessa knows her stuff. Flynn will be doing cartwheels in no time. Mm -hmm. Press X to doubt. I can't wait. Oh, man. We'll see. At any rate, more travel banter. Wow! It's beautiful, that shell. Ain't it, though? Ellen's got a heart of gold. I'll say, mind if I take a closer look? The shell. You're thinking it may be something rare? Valuable, even? Let's see now. Why, yes, I'm sure of it. This shell... The shell... is utterly ordinary. In terms of value, at least. But Ellen gave it to you with all the gratitude in her heart. And that means there's no treasure like it in all the world. <laughs> I see what you did there. But thank you, Tress. So don't lose it now, you hear? Wonderful. <laughs> Oh, man. Testing his resolve to not take money, I suppose. <laughs> Healing Great Bunch. Ooh, that was very good. Okay. Um, I guess we talk to you again. I wonder if my sister will ever get better. Hmm, let's put it just and see if you've got something new. Nope. All right, we've already talked to you. Hmm. Go check on the sister, maybe? Or talk Hi to there. You? My fellow found this huge egg and has been taking care of it ever since. He's a fisherman. What does he even know of eggs? He said he found it in the depths of the place they call Captain's Bay. I wonder what it might hatch into. Oh wait, can I purchase that and give it to that one other person? No. Well, I guess that's just another random egg. There's a lot of eggs in this game. Eggs. Reminds me of the land before time. Oh, that was a memory. Okay. Hmm. Aww. Cuff. <laughs> yeah, she does not look like she's Aww. better yet, which, you know, takes time. So, fair. Uh, what am I supposed to do now, Alfin? Journal? Journal time? Hmm. Wait, why is there a... Okay, now, I'm just getting rid of these exclamation marks as I go through. Okay. I can reflect back on cutscenes, too. That's nice. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this way? 
I guess we go back to the rich people district. Hmm. Okay. New person. Good Hello. day. South of here is the commerce district. We've got an inn, a tavern, whatever you like. And scrutiny is what I like the most. Moved by the teachings of the sacred flame, he spreads the holy word despite not being an ordained cleric. Blessed with a silver tongue, he has been instrumental in convincing many residents to accept the faith. Ah, that helps the guidance. I like the flavor text. It's delicious. Okay, healing grape. Um, you know what? I probably should get a healing grape. Um, I've been using those more. Yeah, yeah. We save forty-nine dollars or leaves, leaves. <laughs> There's nothing healthier than eating plenty of fruit. Okay then. Hmm. I see you. I go this way. Hey. I'm a trader of stone and rock. Can I be of service to ye? This here whetstone is the best I carry. Okay. Do you have a dry stone? Okay. Let's see now. This man molded the finest metals into exquisite weapons coveted by all, until one day he had an epiphany that every piece was akin to a living, breathing being, and that such creations were deserving of constant care. Thereafter, he devoted himself instead to the preservation of these works of art. Intriguing, yeah. I mean, if people like that, huh. Orwell Whetstone, a stone rumored to sharpen even the dullest tool in the shed. It's so expensive though, but it's unique. Okay. Maybe we'll find some super legendary item we have to use that on. Thanks for your custom. Okie dokie. We haven't upgraded the armor yet with anybody's speeches, so. Yeah, I guess we'll wait. Nothing in here yet. It's probably gonna be a hidden item someday. Maybe. Soon. Screw noise. A finely dressed man. He has an eye for the ladies, particularly those who come from foreign lands, and never passes up an opportunity to converse with them. His incorrigible pleasures recently led to his third divorce. Ah. Okay. An empowering br 500 HP. Hmm. It's not nothing, but also it's expensive. And I'd rather get that super bow for 70,000, which of course I can't afford yet. Oh. One day. One day, super bow. And huh? Dragon's Fest. What's this? Hmm. People talk. There seems to be another commotion. Okay. That doesn't seem so good. <gasps> Miss Hyslop, come quickly. My husband won't stop coughing. My sympathies. Oh dear, isn't that a shame? It seems there's a nasty malady going around. The Gamora Whooping Cough, it's called. It hails from a land far, far to the south. But worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. You don't say! Oh, Miss Heisen, I know we could count on you. Indeed. My word, even the bottle is simply exquisite. And this will cure him, you say? But of course. It most certainly will. It's brewed from a very special type of moss, you see. One that only grows in a remote and quite treacherous location. Hence you should pay me double. Because of the rarity of the key reagent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. I mean... <gasps> that is... Capitalism, right? Risk, reward, all that. Okay. Money's no object to us. We'll pay anything. If only it was well... real. Splendid. In that case, 100,000 leaves of vials should suffice. <laughs> That's a lot. What? Oh dear, that is substantial. Oh, still, my dear daughter's life is at stake. I'll take it. I have no objections. If Lady Hyson made it, I'm sure it's worth every leaf. I'll take two. Goodness. For me as well, I'll spare no cost for the health of my loved ones. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, friends. My lady, I fear my Flynn has come down with a cough as well. Ooh, I doubt she has a. Oh down. dear! The poor girl. You have my sympathies. Oh. I fear that we do not have the coin that the gentry do, but. 
Here, this is my entire savings. Might you pray sell me a single file? Even just a sip. Anything to save my poor Flynn. I'm sorry. But I fear my medicine is in high demand, in short supply. I simply cannot let go of it so cheaply. <laughs> Please, have mercy. <laughs> my poor Flynn, whatever am I to do? Well, yeah, that's why they came up with insurance, and oh, now why insurance takes advantage of people. I'm almost sold out. I'd better go stock up on some, uh, you know what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Good. All right, Alfin. Go actually solve the problem. <laughs> My poor, poor Flynn. Oh, merciful Aelfric. Pray bring the flame to light our path. My dearest, ever since I lost you, I have scarce been able to feed and clothe our girls. They have suffered far more than their share. And yet every day they bring me seashells. They tell me to smile. Oh. Must I look on helpless as poor Flynn wastes away? Have I failed them once and for all? Oh gods, if there is still mercy in this world, Please save her. <laughs> I pray with all my heart and soul. Criminy. Mind if I drop in for a bit? What? Hmm. Clearly unwelcome at the moment. You, you're that. <laughs> One scraggly, scruffy looking apothecary at your service? I might not be Miss Heisel, but if you need my help, it's yours. Uh... Let me take a look. So how about it? The gods may be all-powerful, but a checkup never hurts. Very true. Plus, you know what? Sometimes <laughs> this might be the answer that they're giving. Mm -hmm. uh... Cough, cough, cough. This isn't good. She's coughing so hard she can barely breathe. How did a rare disease from a far-flung land come to this town anyhow? I mean, in support town, it looks like. Hmm. You said it was Vanessa's medicine that cured your daughter's fever, yes? Oh, yes. It sure did. It worked like a miracle. I don't know. What kind of medicine was it? Ah. Uh... What kind? There are still a few drops left. Oh? Let me see it. And maybe I can reverse engineer this medication and make it more cheap. This aroma, it must have been brewed from Gabora Evergreen. Hmm. That would make sense. It's a potent fever reducer, after all. But I remember reading something else about it. What's this now? What was it now? Side effects? Mm, have we ever heard of those? Oh. Wait, here it is. Gabora evergreen, a flowering plant native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the continent of Gabora, known for its antipyretic properties. A constituent compound has been known to cause inflammation and swelling of the throat, inducing severe coughing. The symptoms resemble those of the whooping cough known to plague the land whence it hails. Due to the risk of severe and adverse reactions, use of Gabora Evergreen in any dosage is strongly discouraged. Ah. Uh. That Vanessa. She couldn't have. Mm. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. Yes, Son trade. A... She knew exactly what she was doing. She gave the villagers that medicine for free, knowing full well that when the side effects kicked in... <laughs> but worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure you overnight. Ah, yes. Because of the rarity of the key reagent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee for something I caused. Shucks. She induced those symptoms on purpose so she could sell her overpriced elixir. Hmm. 
that twisted conniving. Hold tight, Flynn. I'll have you feeling better in no time. Give me two gifs and I'll brew you up just a thing. Thank you. Thank you. Alvin. Maybe don't try to talk yet. Huh? Vanessa said something about a special moss. A moss that can cure coughing. Time for adventure! That's it. Miss, have you ever seen a moss around here that glows blue? How is that safer? <laughs> Oh, uh, moss, I, I've never heard of such a thing. What about algae? But I don't get out of town much. You might try asking around. Here we go. Gotcha. I'll be back with just the thing I need to cure Flynn's cough for good. You bloody better! Stop that at once! Ellen, where did you learn such language? <laughs> you just sit tight and keep Flynn company, okay? All right, then. Time to do our own gathering of reagents. Inquire. Okay. It, maybe it'll be a new inquire, or do I need to just talk? Oh. <sighs> my caravan was set upon by bandits. They took everything. If I don't find a safer route to travel than that blast at Hyrule, they're going to put me out of business. Ah, you know what? You, you have reasons to have fears. Okay. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Fine day to eat. Welcome to Goldshore, the town by the sea. We hope you enjoy your stay. Tis the merry truth. This town is known for its pristine beaches. You should see them for yourself if you have a spare moment. Yeah, that's probably where we need to talk to somebody. Late circle. Anybody new? I've already inquired. Do I need to inquire again, maybe? Hmm. I say there once sailed on a blue wave, proud of a seafaring days. He hopes to repeat that. Hmm. Hi there. Okay, we found the egg. Quiet. I mean, it's the same thing as before. Oh, green, okay. Hello. If you're planning a journey somewhere, might I suggest that you go by carriage? It's safer and more comfortable to boot. Inquire about this carriage. A coachman by trade, he puts the safety of his customers above all else and refuses to traverse dangerous regions regardless of the payment offered. Owing to his experience, he knows many a shortcut in back room. Vanessa's destination. Ooh. Okay, so now we know where she goes. Apparently. Thank you, Mr. Coachman. Mr. Coachman, are you ready to go? We'll ride on wheels and plush velvet cushions for show. All right. Green. Green. I can has green. I see a treasure. Yoink. And I see another treasure. More yoink. Wait, no, I need you in my life. Ah, uh, okay, how do I? I thought I did that correctly, but apparently stairs are not my only enemy in this game. All right. A haughty aristocrat who leads a life of luxury, turning his nose up at all not born into privilege. His elitist attitudes have in turn earned him the ire of the common folk, no few fellow noblemen. Gossip of Glowworm, though. Thank you. All right. So Vanessa set out for the Caves of Azure to the east. Got it. All right. So we go to the east. To find a beast, probably. That will prevent us from getting that loss. But we'll see. <laughs> I've said it once and I'll say it again. No one mixes medicines like that Vanessa. So because this is a story mode thing, I think I should talk to everybody possible before I do the quest, right? Because maybe they'll change after we do Alfin's story. A woman whose noble ancestors lived in the region since the days of old. Her family once funded the construction of a cathedral in Goldshore, and thereafter held tremendous influence within the community. Nevertheless, she endeavors to treat all equally and carry herself with grace and humility. Ah, admirable. Okay, what about you? 28%. Night or daunt! Oh. Okay, well... Hmm. Yes. That knight over there is the one person that can always bring a smile to my face. Okay. Sounds like there might be some romance in the air. Anything to purchase that I want? Wizard's Rod. Yes. Man, there's so much good stuff here. An elusive shield is also pretty good. I only have 12k. We wait. Good day. 
This is a chapel of the Order of the Sacred Flame. Are you here to worship in its divine light? Apparently. Yes. Uh, I can go in here. Well then. We'll do that. Challenge no. Wow, 28% in the cathedral. Huh? That's... Huh. How high level are these guys? Hmm. Come, come. This is a holy place. Please, try to be quiet. But what if I don't want to? Because I would rather sing praises to the sacred flame. Okay, we have three more tries. A man who renounced his noble heritage to become a cleric. Despising those who value wealth and status above all else, he sacrificed everything to serve the sacred flame, and in so doing earned the respect and admiration of the faithful. New weapons for sale. Wow. How... Hmm. Okay. What, what, what else was in your past, sir? <laughs> that you have an in with that weapon salesman. All right. 56% chance. Coin flip. A humble cleric whose contributions tend to go unnoticed. Though he can boast of no great accomplishments as of yet, he is diligent and hardworking, and is utterly devoted to the faith. Honestly, that should be valued more, I feel like. Okay. Poitus. Plum, plum, plum basket. That seems very good. That's the first one I've seen, so I will pick it up, even though it's 2k. I must apologize, but this is all that I have on hand. The sacred flame of our church is the symbol of Aelfric, the god of all that is holy. Wasn't Aelfric just a dude, though? Considering we picked up that job from Aelfric? Hmm. Hmm. Clearly there is more theology at work here than I know. Alright, ooh, we got another plum basket for free. Wonderful. Okay. Hmm, I see you, treasure. You try to hide from me between the pillars of the faith. Okay. More blue stuff. Okay. Now we are done with the cathedral, I believe, for now. Yes. All right, then. Maybe I should have checked there's no exclamation mark on the map near the flame. But I think we're fine, right? We're probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You scrutinize again. We try. We fail. Uh, try one more. And... Purchase. Soul Hatchet. Ooh. None of my axe users other than... Well, I guess Primrose. Yeah, Primrose could use that. Get more elemental attack. And Imperial Armor looks really good. It's like no downside, just good defense. Protective Bracelet also seems fantastic. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and get that one, because we can afford it. You wish to conduct business with me? Sure, but I don't have much of a selection. Always looking for a bargain. One more try. Hey, a Knight Ardant who guards Gold Shores Cathedral. As the town sees rather little in the way of crime, he passes most of his days in relative peace. With so much free time, he has gotten into the habit of taking naps even when on duty. Ah, uh, that's a bad habit. Is that why he makes you laugh? <laughs> Not because of his sense of humor. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure a commoner wouldn't understand, but it takes quite a great deal of money to maintain the lifestyle that one expects of a noble. At times, one must even lower oneself to the level of common villains. That's not anything you would need to know about either, obviously. Uh... I think you have problems. Healing Great Bunch. Oh, my goodness, yes. But you also have a very useful item, so thank you for that, I suppose. You peruse my very best. An honor for you, no doubt. Always looking for a bargain. Mm -hmm. Okay, we try. Do you not know who I am? I am the noblest of nobles, the great Drevan. Show some respect. The world's coin I grasp in the palm of my hand. And that goes for the money of the brigands I have. Uh, um, that is to say, uh, most intriguing. So you're saying we can blackmail you? Okay, well that's not something we're going to do. Also, we should just turn him into the constables or something. Yeah. Okay. A man who serves the nobles in the region, he has grown weary of his master's appetites for the fairer sex, and wonders whether it would be wise to introduce his fiancée to him or not. No. Just no. Uh-uh. Nope. That's a clear and obvious choice to make. Do not. Ooh, wow, that's a very expensive copper-filled pouch. And a plum. What about you? Huh. Some of the merchants who serve as my merchantry have been having a spot of trouble with bandits. Thanks to that noble, it sounds like. 
If something isn't done about it soon, I may have difficulty getting stock in for my customers. That won't do at all. Something has to be done about these bandits. Okay. Inquire. A merchantry master who provides all manner of food and sundries to various peoples and interests, particularly those of the coastlands. Okay. My voice is starting to go. I probably need some water. Protective ring. You're not as good as the one I just bought. Okay. Purifying seed. Yes. All right. Now I have no money again. Ah, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh well. For now, we get those blue items. Then we save, and then I think we'll call an episode here, viewer. Ooh, a silver axe. Wait a second. Is that good on you now? No. Okay. Not at the moment. What about you? When soul stone, we take it. We take it. Oh dear. There's a right fears and beast lurking in the sea near here. If you dare set out in a boat, it'll come right for you. Which means that fishing is out of the question. Skirted the seas? Okay, we might need to save the town from that. A rather young fisherman. What he lacks in experience, he makes up with enthusiasm. Working hard to support his beloved, who supports him in turn. He brings home every catch, even poisonous fish and strange debris. Nice chatting with you. Just, uh, we probably won't buy fish from you. Yeah, Leviathan egg? I love it. Huh. A rusty cup is new to me. Okay. Well, we'll think about it. For now, we're going to save the game. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying Octopath Travel Out, if you are. And have a great day.